Hey, what's going on? I am Ellis. Welcome to a reaction to Eyes One Vampire. I was so slow on this that a dance practice has already come out, but I haven't seen the actual video, so gotta watch that video. Coming up, coming up, we're gonna have a little behind the scenes with Jimin, Jackson Wang, some Dimash. Uh, I'm even gonna do some Ariana Grande. What has happened to me? How have I drifted so far from where I started? Uh, anyhow, right now we're here on Eyes One Vampire. Well, I like vampires. I like music. I like K-pop. I mean, yeah, it possible. It can't possibly be bad, right? Hey, hold on. There we go. So I didn't want to stop it already. I was going to talk about the other things I like. I like sparkly capes. I like creepy castles. Uh, I like cats. I like, what is that? A photo room? Say what now? two chords. That's the second one. Oh, we're in Japanese? Wait, are we Japanese? Japanese, right? How bad is it that it took that long? I think, I mean, whatever. Oh, so we're talking about the music, right? Uh, the bass. The bass is dope. I'm not sure how I feel about the actual song. The video is cool. The bass is really nice. Sorry, I gotta, I'm not gonna watch for a second. I just wanna listen, so I'm closing my eyes. Except for the cat's attacking me, which is why I'm opening my eyes. Bro, chill out. Say hi, move to the side. Rongia.
Okay, this is was unsettling because I just didn't know what to do with the song. It finally clicked in after hearing the um, chorus a couple times. This is a great intro for a TV show or an outro for like a spooky show or something like that. It's perfect for that. Um, I don't think I like it as a standalone song unless I was listening to the soundtrack of something intentionally. Um, but what was catching me off guard is I think this might be the most active overall bass we've heard in a, in a K-pop tune. I mean, as far as a bass by itself being super active, we've heard some active basses that are accompanying other instruments that are also really active. But the bass line is doing lots of steady eighths, which is really, really weird in this style of music. Sounds cool. Sounds awesome. The bass is like do 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 on bass going on in the background. It's almost like a classical etude for the left hand of a piano um, that's like underpinning everything. It's a really interesting structure. But I don't it's I don't think it's for me. I don't dislike it. If there were if it was show if these were like characters and it shows like the person's name underneath each one, I'd be like, what a cool opening song. And it is it is perfect for that because I could definitely hear this song a hundred times as the introduction or the closing of a TV show, and I would love it. Um, but I think it's just a standalone piece. Where's that bass? I mean, it's super well done. It's super well done, but here's the issue in general now with uh, my K-pop experiences is that the level of, of quality tends to be so high. If you're going to look at each aspect, right? if you're going to look at attractiveness, fashion, choreography, music, you know, both the track and the singing, just the level of quality is really high in general. And it's gotten to a point where I can't... Uh, I can't be like, just because this is good, say it's great. It's, it's almost like when you're training at the master's level or doctoral level. Everyone's supposed to be good by that point. You know, you can't, you don't get some of the points for being good. Like if you've been training for a decade or 15 years, 20 years, you should be good by now. We want to know, like, what are, you, what are you bringing to the table that's a little... You, I guess, a little you and unique and exceptional. And they got some of that in there with the structure. Um, and definitely having this playful, what do you call it, playful active bass line, but in this kind of spooky setting, but not overly spooky. Uh, interesting and new. I, to me, the newest thing about it is the bass line. That's the, that's the thing that stands out. More than the dancing, more than singing or anything else. It's just really weird to have a bass line do that. I, well, I have a guitar over there. I'm not going to try to do it. But really, it's a lot of steady eights. Da 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 You heard me do it the first time. Um. Anyways, got to keep branching out for this cat. I don't even know what you want. How about a head rub? Do you want a head rub? Here, is that what you want? You want to be on camera with a head rub? Is that what you want? Oh, no, yeah, no, you see the camera's coming, so you just move. Whatever. All right, let's go. Let's go to the next thing, which is what? Am I doing Ariana Grande, Grande next? It's ridiculous. Comfort zones, man. You got to step out of the comfort zone. For you, that means not bothering me while I'm recording. That would be out of your comfort zone. Bye. 
Oh, Hurangi. Can I maybe use... So Takja is table, right? And then Wee is like above or on the table. So Takja Wee is like on the table. So can I say Hurangi... No, because I need a verb. How about... I I'll need to do this at the beginning of the next video too, uh, to test it out. So can I do Hurangi Takja Wee Isio? The Hurangi, the tiger's on the table? Does that work? I don't know. Let's go.